Hey everybody, Coach Nate McBride with the Blade Fit Academy and today we are going to go over some simple mechanics that reliably is going to make you seem much faster than you really are when it comes to sword fighting, getting those cuts in there. So when you see that opening, it's there, boom, reliably you'll be able to hit those targets uh, more frequently than before. And this has to do with the principle of straight lines. Okay, so when we when we throw a cut, uh, a lot of people, especially when we first start out, we throw that cut, we wind back, and we we arc our hands as we cut, and the the sword tip creates an arc. We all want to create an arc. Well, that's not correct if you want to go quick. What you want your your hand, you want your hand to go to travel in as straight a lines as possible. The tip of your sword is going to arc, but your hand is going to travel in a straight line. And I'm gonna demonstrate this with only my hand so you can see my hand. Then I'm going to demonstrate it since I'm inside my house today, I'm going to demonstrate it with this cool little dagger so I don't hit my ceiling. And you'll see that the tip still arcs, but my hand will travel in a straight line. This especially works great for saber, but it works for all one-handed swords. And actually, if we adapt this um, for a two-handed grip, it actually works for long sword as well. That's going to be a different video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my saber stance, like so. This is my right hand. I'm going to use my right hand. See, I'm in an outside guard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a cut number one. One. So I start from my right shoulder. It's going to terminate towards my left shoulder. I'm crossing my body. I'm turning my wrist as I throw my cut for a cut number one. Then I'm going to bring my hand back to an inside guard. Boom, and I'm going to throw a cut too. Notice how my hand still travels in a straight line as I cut. And if you can picture the sword, the sword is going to arc and cut across, right? So let's let's start over for cut number one. Cut one, cut two, cut three, three. I'm turning my wrist and I'm crossing my body from my right to my left. Boom, in this manner for a cut three. And um, I'm not death gripping the sword. I am using a handshake grip, a nice handshake grip. And I'll show that with the dagger in a minute. So cut three, come back like so for a cut four, back for a cut five. Now cuts five and six are these cuts, right? The horizontal cuts. Now what I don't want to do is create these sweeps, right? Uh, that's slow. I want what to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in a straight line, but a diagonal straight line. So I start close to my body and I end up further away in a diagonal. And what happens is the sword uh, tip, the sword blade will cut, will sweep across as I do that. So cut five, back, cut six, back. Cut five, back, cut six, back, okay? And then cut seven, there's several different ways you could do a cut seven. So if I'm in my stance here, I could be low and I can bring my hand up high for a cut up here for a cut seven. I could have my hand high and I could cut downward for a cut seven. Notice how my hand travels in a more or less a straight line at a diagonal going down. Cut seven, or I could do it straight across, boom, like this, and just turn my wrist for a cut seven, like so. Okay, so from high, from low, and the same place, and then the, the tip is going to hit on top of the head. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do that with this fancy dancy dagger here. So I'm an outside guard, cut one. Inside guard, cut two. Outside guard again for a cut three. Inside guard for a cut four. Come back this way, cut five. This way, cut six. High, cut down, there we go. Right, I could do it from, from here. Let's do it from inside guard just cause. Cut like this, right? Right to the top of the head. Um, let's see, I started low and I went high. And I go straight across. Let's say I'm doing this kind of thing. There's an opening and boom, straight across. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I hope this helps with your technique. Remember, think of it in terms like this. When you're throwing a punch, uh, unless it's a finishing move, you don't want to 
come back like this for a big haymaker and sweep like that. People can see it coming from miles away and they will make adjustments. The same with swords play. You don't want to swing like this for cut one. You don't want to do this. You want to just do this. It's much faster. And actually the power, if we do our footwork correctly, the power comes from the floor through our hips and out our wrist as we as we uh, fling, <laughs> catapult, as we fling, we take the power from the floor through our feet and we fling it through our wrist, but our hand is still traveling a straight line. And believe me, you're gonna have plenty of power if your edge alignment is correct and you're going to cut um, whatever it is that you need to cut. It's a very powerful parry still. You're fast in your parry. Um, and everything works great with this system, guys. You just so try it out. Tell me in the comments below uh, what you think of this. Um, yeah, I wanna hear your experiences about it. And that's all I got, guys. So always remember to slay your demons, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.